want you just to touch on barak and productivity. What do you see those two linked about being how to, the barak of just of fasting and being spiritual mm-hmm. will sustain your energy of the day. So people think about, oh, I'm fasting, I've got suhoor, I've got, there's no way I can be productive. But just sure, understand the concept sure, of barak, sure. how does that boost your productivity? It's, it's pretty amazing because fasting is tough. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, and, you know, if you try to fast tomorrow, it'll be really hard. Mm-hmm. You're going to be dazed, you're not going to be able to focus at work, things are going to happen. But what Allah says about Ramadan is pretty awesome. He says, "You read Allah who become al-yusr, when I read become al-usr." It's not a universal statement. It's actually intended within the month of Ramadan. Allah intends ease for you. In other words, the fasting in the month of Ramadan, in the month of Ramadan, is actually easier than fasting any other time, and that's something Allah instilled into this month. It's special. So. Nobody's going to be able to say genuinely that they're having a hard time because of the fasting. As a matter of fact, you might even find yourself having more energy than you ever had. True. You know. Now, if you don't find yourself having energy, then there are some other causes not to fasting. Mm-hmm. Now, what are those other causes? You're overeating at iftar. Mm-hmm. You're going. You're going to town at suhoor time. You're eating like four <laughs> times the breakfast you normally eat. Yeah. No wonder you're tipped over half the day because you're. You're dying over how much you ate. The other half, you're dying over your starvation, right? So the, a balanced diet, is it's a big part of how productive you are. A balanced sleep schedule is really important. People have messed up sleep schedules in Ramadan. They're not supposed to have a messed up sleep schedule. They're supposed to have a normal sleep schedule mm-hmm. in Ramadan. So maintain these things, take care of these things, and inshallah, it's, it's not going to be a problem. Speaking of the word barakah, you know, the... Um, the, the linguistic meaning of the word is of increase beyond expectations, uh-huh. right? So the blessing of this month is that you're going to do work as you normally do, but you're going to find it being more result-oriented. It's going to bear more food. It's going to be more productive than you would expect it to be. Uh-huh. You know, people are trying to be productive anyway, anywhere. But the, the believer in Ramadan is actually expecting productivity above and beyond his own capability. Uh-huh. There's actually this divine intervention of layers and layers of productivity over and above your own capability mm-hmm. that you enjoy the blessings of just because you're here in this month. So.